This looks so fake. <laughs> Can you get up? Yeah. I'll, I'll let her loose. <laughs> So it's not all the time that you sit across from your opponent in a mutually um, st standard Seiza traditional term position, but it, it does happen. You know, sometimes we start our roles like this. It's not, you know, in competition, nobody's starting like this, right? There's a way to physically arrest your opponent by attaching their hands to their core. And it looks fake. It's actually quite humorous, and I use it often anytime I get the chance. So what does it look like? As we're hand fighting or beginning to, to grip, if I can place my hand on one, or even better, two of my opponent's wrists, if I start to pull, they're gonna pull back. If they pull back, I attach it to, literally to their, their belt. Now just here without adding additional pressure, it's hard for her to pull her, her arm out because it's, you know, this friction is assisting me. But a simple tilt causes her to be completely immobilized because now her feet are locked to her, uh, to her backside and her hands are locked to her belt. Can you get up? No. Literally, don't let me pass. Don't let me pass your guard. Get up, fight, pull guard. Obviously being cautious on some opponent's ankles, but it's very valid, as fake as it may look. And we'll look at that again. Or if there's an opportunity that I can get both of my opponent's hands and pull, they usually pull back. And when they pull back, I attach it to their core. And if I give a slight tilt, she's immobilized. It doesn't look like it. Literally, it looks fake. I'll give you that. But can you can you stand up? Can you pull your arms out? Life or death, don't let me pass. If I go too far, she's going to get out. If I go too far to one side, she can pick one leg up. But if I center it perfectly, again, this how do you get here? It, it happens often, believe me. But I just want to attach and push directly where her core is, where her hip girdle is. And just enough. And now I can stand and move. Don't let me pass. I can move with relative ease because I'm centering her over both of her feet. Again, if I tilt her to one side, she'll be able to get out. This looks so fake. <laughs> can you get up? Yeah. I'll, I'll let her loose. All right, we're gonna we're gonna look at that uh, demonstrated on on me, and I'm gonna try to get up. But I've done this so many times, I know that it's, it's impossible if the angles are right. Let's take a look. So however you may get these, you know, if I'm trying to grip fight and you, this one's easy to grab because I'm not paying attention. As you push that and I pull this back, here you are. So that's stuck. Okay, you have, you have to figure out how to tilt me and not let me come back forward. Okay. Go ahead and, yeah. Now that's almost too far. I guess. Oh, that doesn't feel good on my knee for sure, but I could not get up. Try it again. But as long as it's quick, like get you there and move quick. You don't have to be, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I am stuck. Well, so I'm going to lose at the end. If you're going to lose, yeah, you're already in a much better position to go side control knee on belly. But again, you get these and you drive straight just to tilt just enough. That's it. And I'm going to try to fight. And you can hold that. Your pressure should be down. You're just walking your body around. Oh, I got out. One more time. It's a feel, right? She has to feel what she's doing to me and how I'm trying to react. There is a way to keep me stable. So in your fight to get around, you have to be real careful. If you, if I start to lean out, I can get out. Okay. But in in theory and in practice. Far. You push me back, which I mean, yes, it wears on my ankles, but when you push me back, there was enough for me to grunt and get out. It's hard for me to hold this 
steady mm -hmm. as I'm moving. That's, but that's the challenge, right? Yeah. You can figure that out. One more time. That's enough right there. <coughs> <coughs> 